Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Now, if you're a regular on the channel, you know I love the Amiga, but I was too lazy to set up the core for my Mr. FPGA. Now, one thing I have to say, it's always the inside that counts, but sometimes a front end can make all the difference. Whether it's an emulation front end, a front end for your Mr. or the front end of the partner you spend most of your life with. Now, this front end is no exception. It is brilliant. You've got different ways of getting to the games, whether you're getting to them by year, by category, by chart by letter it is just fantastic everything is just so pretty uh when you when you when you go in a game it shows you a screenshot of the game and now with the amiga there's a lot of games that are locked in my memory but i cannot remember what the game is actually called now going through some of the stuff here whether i'm going through the year whether i'm going through uh the uh, the type of gamer is a genre of the game i'm seeing the screenshots and it's awakening those memories this is fantastic and the tutorial is going to be so simple honestly like the biggest regret i have about this is why didn't i do it sooner honestly from when i decided to do it 15 minutes later i was up and running and the main part of that was the actual download. The download of this, uh, I downloaded it as a torrent and it took uh, maybe 10 minutes to download. So if I had, once you've got the download, it's literally five minutes and you are up and running. It's got multiplayer categories. If you want to check games that you played against or with people, it just works really, really well. It's got lots of options in there for uh, visual effects. Uh, have a look at them in your own time. I won't touch over all of that. Part of the fun is actually playing about and discovering how everything works in this. Another thing that I really like, the way the controllers are set up, it's set up really nicely for the end user. So if you remember on the Amiga, all the platform games or most of the games up was jump. Most of the games were one button. Well, they've, they've kind of set this up default mode using a CD32 controller. So when I played, we'll have a look at Rainbow Islands at the end because I love that game. Uh, I, when I played that, instead of up for jump, I had a separate button for jump. Now, if you want to go back on a joystick and recreate that nostalgic vibe where you just want up for jump instead of a button, then you can do that. I am I actually prefer playing them with an additional button. I know it's not true to how I played the Amiga, but years and years of playing consoles, I just love it. If you had a look there, like M Maria Renard's Revenge is this. It's even got the new games. It's got the, the new homebrew games that were released in 2022, 2023. Honestly, this thing is nothing short of fantastic. And if you haven't put it on your mister, you need to do it right now. So guys, before we get into the tutorial, um, remember, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, a subscription and a like, all that good stuff is super appreciated. Uh, let's get into today's video so you guys can get this working on your own misters. So guys, let's get into this tutorial so we can get a lovely Amiga front end and some Amiga games running on your Mr. FPGA. So the first thing to do is head over to this Amiga Vision website page. I'll leave a link in the description of the video, so be sure to check that out. And once you get here, uh, you want to click on this link, Amiga Vision. Now open it in a new tab. The reason is we're going to refer back to this page again. So just follow along with me, pause it where you think it's necessary, but you will have it up and running in a few minutes. Uh, once once you open that, this is the page that we've opened. Click on the download link here. And once we click on that download link, it gives us a little disclaimer about archive.org. Click on that and, and we are good. Once we're on this page, I'm not quite sure what this is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. We want this Amiga Vision Mega AGS. Once we click on that, we're presented with a couple of download options. There's a seven zip version, it's 3.4 gigs, but that's a direct download from archive.org. I don't recommend using this way because it's archive.org is very, very slow. If that's your only option, I understand. Leave it downloading, go and do something, enjoy your day and come back later. If you want the quicker option, I downloaded the torrents in under 10 minutes. It was, it happened while I was sitting here and doing something else. And that's the route that I went. So pick your download option. Once you have downloaded it, you're going to get that. You're going to get a file and let's have a look at the file that you're going to get. Okay. So here we are. So this is where my download is. You're going to get this folder. Let's go into here. And as you can see, there's a seven zip file here. So let's just unzip this. Use whichever uh, tool you use. You can use WinRAR uh, or 7-Zip. I generally use 7-Zip. I'll probably put WinRAR on it at some point when the need arises, but let's extract, let's extract these files here. Okay, so once extracted, we've got this folder here. Let's just go into this folder here. Now, on the right-hand side is my micro SD card. I've inserted it in my PC, and this is the micro SD 
for my mister and i've got a few i keep some for experimentation this is one that i use so i'm putting this on i'm not overwriting anything i'm going and i'm going to put this core on and this is the core that we'll test and uh, have some fun with so let's first thing you want to do is just highlight all the folders leave these folds that are alone at the bottom just highlight all the folders here so computer config filters games presets shadow masks yeah and what you want to do is you can either copy and paste let's copy and paste that so copy that here click uh click on on the root of your mr sd card and just paste that let it do its thing excellent now that's copied over let's uh let's do the next part so what we want to do let's just head back to that web page so remember what i said leave the original one open and there was a reason for that and the reason is we're going to click on documentation so let's just open that okay here we are so just keep scrolling down here keep scrolling keep scrolling until we get to this part here so what you want to do you can read this for yourself it's pretty easy to uh, understand but what you want to do is highlight it from here where it says amiga and here you go you want to just right click and copy that so you've got all the text now if we head over to our mister the root of our mister we're looking for our mister dot any file now you can open this with uh, a uh, like notepad or something that's what my that's what my default option is of where i open it so what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom of this let's make it go a little bit quicker right here we go and once we're at the very bottom leave a, a gap of one line just making sure that is the very bottom okay so now what you want to do is let's paste that okay so now we've pasted that in there that's pasted the best options because the amiga has a lot of different uh, a lot of different displays most of the games i think are at 50 hertz some might be a little bit different i'm not going to go into too much of the technical details because because quite frankly i don't know what i'm talking about and i don't want to embarrass myself but put that in there it will make it run the way you saw it run or the front end run so what you want to do go ahead and save that and guys that literally is it let's go over to our mister now and have a look see if it's working now that we are at our misters let's head over to computer now this is the amiga one you want i think this is like a previous version on there i'll have to maybe get rid of that to clean it up but for now you're going to have amiga and another amiga with a date next to it and amiga 500 this is the one that i was using for the front end um, and this one here is if you're running discs or anything uh, you may want to use this one but this is the one we're going to use so let's have a look let's see if it's up and running guys if you followed along with the tutorial well this is where you should be you should have the amiga core up and running it's really nice have a look at the options in here maybe there's some stuff you want to change in here in regard to like the video filters i tend to leave video filters off when i'm filming and they don't they don't come across that nice i like the i'm feeling lucky section here as well which will pick you a random game but do enjoy the amiga and uh, let me know what games i should try out in the comments below okay guys so now if uh, you are up and running uh, a game that i recommend is rainbow islands i absolutely love this game the amiga there were lots and lots of games there's many that i can name and go through and i probably will let me know if you want to see a video of something like my favorite 10 20 50 i don't know amiga games and i can put together something where we showcase a whole bunch of amiga games if that's something you're interested in but if i'm recommending you one game now on the amiga rainbow islands it's fantastic try it out it's one of my favorite games of all time i can't wait for the arcade core which is on the horizon we just don't know when uh, i can't wait for an arcade core to get released uh, but for the meantime enjoy the amiga version it's fantastic one of my favorite games but guys that's really it for this video i hope you found this tutorial uh useful and entertaining if you did well subscribe Subscribe, like share all that good stuff i'll see you guys around in the next video this is pixel cherry ninja out